Hi, my name's Nick. I run a successful home maintenance company and I'm here to show you some DIY tricks. In this video, I'm going to talk briefly to you about the effects of water damage on drywall or plasterboard. Now the first thing to, be, to bear in mind is by its very nature, plasterboard should be kept dry as much as possible. It does not like water or damp conditions. If we've got a damp patch here or we've got water damage to a, se a section of drywall, if, it's, um, if, the, if, if the surface hasn't been broken or it's not bubbled, so it's still regained its smooth surface, it's just perhaps got discoloured over time from the water, we would just literally wait for it to dry out and you'd see the staining disappearing slowly over a matter of a few days and then we can either paint it with a stain block or just repaint that whole entire wall just to make it go away effectively. Moving on to the ceiling part of a, of a plasterboard where I suspect most of the damage occurs through leaking taps, leaking baths, overflowing, dodgy showers. Um, this can be slightly more damaging or difficult to repair purely because when water, if we, if we imagine this as the ceiling, water can sit on the drywall because it's got no escape. Um, what tends to happen is it will then tend to blister and what we can do is we can cut out local patches and repair them locally as you can see in a previous video or we can go back to, the, we can go back to paint it with a stain block. Um, a top tip if you have got a water leak or a flash flood, let's say one of the kids or one of the relatives lets the bath overflow, if you've got water build up on a ceiling, one of, the, one of the top tips to get the water out of the ceiling and typically it will come through the down lighters or electrical fittings um, because it's like it's creating itself its own swimming pool where it can't escape, is just to grab an old screwdriver or a blunt knife and just plunge it into the plasterboard with a turning action. Once through, you'll notice that like a swimming pool, puncturing it will eventually make a hole and the water will come out and it's quite a simple process just to put a bucket underneath. The longer water remains in contact with plasterboard, the more damaging it can be and the more expensive and thorough the repair bill will need to be. And those are my top tips for dealing with um, damaged sections of drywall caused by water damage.